Then I guess we will call the uh, March 7th Fargo Dome Authority meeting to order. Troy, you'll give the report. Yep. Um, so, Rick and Nancy, do you have the uh, agenda and meetings and all that information in front of you? I do. Okay. All right. So we have uh, we uh, have Troy and uh, Blake in in the meeting here. So, so uh, I guess to start <coughs> things off, you have the agenda in front of you. Are there any additions? Um, I don't hear any additions to the agenda. So I got a first to move to approve by Troy. Second. Second, Second. by. Well, I'll, I'll get you next time, Nancy. Second by Blake. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. All right, we have the minutes in front of you. So if you would please look at those and let me know if there's changes. If not, I'd accept a motion. Move to approve. And a first by Nancy. Second. Second by Blake. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, aye. same sign. Motion carries. All right, is there any old business to bring in front of the authority? Hearing none, new business, and we'll start with the general's manager's report, Rob. <coughs> All right, thank you. Uh, page three, uh, just the month of January. So as we said a couple weeks ago, it's the short and sweet where the left meets the right, or matches the right. So for the month of January, we had six events with an attendance of just over 14 and a half thousand. Uh, we had total event income of uh, about 92, just over 92,000. And we had indirect expenses of about four hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars. So we had a net deficit of about just over two hundred thirty-five thousand, uh, which we do budget a deficit. Unfortunately, you know, it was a little bit less. Our budgeted deficit was two hundred twenty-eight, so we were about seventy-three hundred dollars below budget. Uh, but that's um, kind of shines out here as we talk uh, with the event income comments the family shows uh, 35,000 below budget as there was a one day or a, a four show uh, a family show such as Paw Patrol something like that budgeted for February uh, based on our schedule and looking at everything going forward not a real good chance of that probably uh, working into the schedule this year so we just ran it through the budget on the trade show side the Red River Valley Boat and Marine Show uh, was slightly better than budget had good attendance obviously that that drives the ancillary revenue from the parking and the food and beverage uh, side of things so uh, that was above budget and then on the miscellaneous uh, fight the frost came back uh, for the first time three years like 2020 we did have it uh, <clears throat> so that was non-budgeted but had good attendance and actually performed better than the last two years that we had had it uh, on the meeting room side they were busy a uh, lot of events, just not as much on the catering revenue side of things, if you will, so uh, slightly below budget there. On the expense side, uh, labor was below budget, but generally consistent at that 5,000. Operations was about 7,000 above budget. Um, re repairs to equipment, uh, kind of timing floating in from the December, late December storms into January where we could actually get the parts and get things fixed. Um, so working through all that and then also the snow removal from blowing, uh, blowing snow plus snow. We didn't get a lot of snow in, in January anyways, but had a lot of blowing snow. So still had to be cleaning it out of the parking lot, driveways and, and things such as that. Any questions on the January and year to date uh, events obviously we'll talk more about it moving forward but February has been was a pretty busy month and March has started off very busy and, and is busy so um, we'll have a very busy first third quarter and rest of the year so, any questions okay did we want to do the financial Typically, we'll do a separate motion now for the right, financials. Yep. Well, in Dave's absence, all uh, the financials are received at the fi uh, Finance and Building Committee. And I can uh, entertain a motion to accept those financials as they're approved at Finance Committee. So, and we 
we got a first by Troy, second by Blake. Roll call. Blake. Yes. Mike. Yes. Troy. Yes. Nancy. Yes. Rick. Yeah. All right. Motion carries. All right. All right, moving on to the calendar then, page 11, since we met last, uh, which was January 31st. As we talked that day, the dirt was coming in, and so we had two Monster Jam performances on Saturday the 4th. Uh, very good attendance again. Uh, actually, I think uh, more than last year. So uh, I know Rick had, had commented on the Monster Jam attendance here a couple months back. Uh, so we're, we're kind of same there, but it's only two days, Rick. So it's only two years, Rick, so we're not calling it a trend yet. We're, we're not calling this a comeback. LL Cool J wouldn't be happy with that. So we'll, we'll keep looking at that and, and going from there. Uh, but we got the dirt out, went right, right into a flat floor show with the NDSU Career and Advising Center having their Spring Career Expo. Uh, pretty much the entire floor. Uh, very good vendor attendance as well as um, student or attendee attendance at that. Uh, pretty much a sold out show for them. That was moved in on Tuesday the 7th with the event on Wednesday the 8th. Uh, that got out and they did a building conversion to the North End basketball set and we had Parker McCullum country concert here Saturday the 11th. Around 5,000 people at that show we we're very very happy both us and the promoter with that type of show that's kind of the show we're hoping to be able to replace um, some of the theater shows with and do more of those shows as they work into our schedule and also getting the building configuration uh, but was was very good uh, <clears throat> we only had that Sunday off and it was gone and the soybean and corn uh, North Dakota soybean and corn councils moved in for their annual uh, meeting moved in on Monday the 13th and had their event all day Tuesday the 14th uh, it actually due to scheduling and everything going on so we had the corn and soybean expo going on on the south end of the floor the south seating had already been moved up into the middle of the floor for rest the state wrestling and we had all of the the underlayment the sport court down for the wrestling match to be set in on that Tuesday uh, so it's kind of a neat photo opportunity that that uh, Sarah took and kind of tweeted out as far as just the multi-purpose of the building, basically having two events set up at the same time. Uh, then the wrestlers, the wrestling tournament came in on Wednesday at noon, the 15th, and got all the mats set up. And we started bright and early at 7 o'clock Thursday morning, uh, the 16th, with the state wrestling tournament that ran through uh, early Saturday evening on Saturday the 18th. Uh, got everything cleaned up for that and the home and garden show was in on Tuesday the 21st to start taping and moved in the 21st to 22nd 23rd uh, and then their event was starting Friday afternoon the 24th through uh, the evening of Sunday the 26th they moved out the evening of Sunday the 26th as well as Monday the 27th and as they were moving out, the Sportsman Show was moving in, and they started moving in on uh, last Tuesday, the 28th of February, and had their show this past Thursday through Sunday, uh, March 5th. And uh, we are to today. Along with the two blizzards and one major winter storm that happened on, on all those times as well. So it was, like I said, a very busy February. Uh, everything going on it just rolls right into uh, this week and, and the rest of the month any comments or questions from board members on past events all right moving forward then from today um, <clears throat> the basketball floor is set up and back in the basketball set as the Fargo Dome uh, will host along with uh, the shack at NDSU the combined Class A boys and girls state basketball tournament. Uh, the boys quarterfinals will be here at the Fargo Dome on Thursday, while the girls four quarterfinals are at the Shack. On Friday, the Fargo Dome will host four games. It'll be two boys and two girls in the consolation bracket. The championship bracket will be at the Shack, and then all day Saturday we'll finish off uh, at the Shack. We'll do a quick conversion Friday night and into Saturday. Uh, as we have the Red River, Red River Valley Sugar Beet or the Sugar Beet Institute uh, moving in starting at 6 o'clock Monday morning the 13th, running through Tuesday the 14th, and they have their show 
next Wednesday and Thursday, March 15th and 16th. Uh, they move out the afternoon and early evening of the, of the 16th Thursday while we convert again into WWE on Saturday the 18th. And uh, that's the one day show, the evening of Saturday the 13th, 18th, and then Tuesday the 21st, the dirt will come in on the north end for the PRC Rodeo, which will be Friday and Saturday the 24th and 25th of March, which takes us up to our next meeting on Tuesday, March 28th. You wrestling this year? <laughs> um, we'll see. I got a, I got a bum knee, but we're, we're trying to wrap it. I'm doing some treatment, some needling. Some cupping, things like that. So we'll we'll see. I don't. I, I think my caution will be too big for me, though. So I, you know, probably not gonna probably not gonna be able to do it this year. We'll, we'll see if I can make weight or not. Smart ass. Uh, so yeah, any questions, comments, past, upcoming events um, over the next two months here? As you can see, it's it's been been very busy. We still have another busy. Uh, well frankly through the rest of the year but uh, we're, we're busy pretty much right up through Ribfest, Happy Harry's Ribfest now where we've got one or two weekends off so it's a lot of different stuff going on. If there are no questions or comments that would end my report. Alrighty, uh, we will go on to committee reports. Try. Alright, uh, the Combined Building and uh, Finance Committee met on Wednesday, February 22nd. Um, main point uh, of that meeting was the audit presentation made by Brian Stavanger of Ide Bailey. Um, it was reviewed and approved, no major um, items to come from the audit. I don't know, Susan, did you want to specifically mention anything? If not, well, all right, I did, didn't think so. Uh, so that the audit uh, was accepted and approved by Building and Finance. Um, Susan presented the January financials, which we just heard from Rob. Uh, and then Rob provided a project and capital budget update on the fire alarm project, which is complete and has been signed off by the inspector. And a brief review of the escrow balance um, that uh, is still a uh, holding its own um, moving forward. So that would conclude my report. All and right. Make that motion, right? I'd make the motion to uh, accept that as my right. report. Thank you. Do you want to on it separately or not? Um, Historically you have. So you could, you could take, you could remove the audit acceptance by the authority out of your report. You've already made the motion to accept the report, take the vote on the report, and then make a new motion. On have a new audit. motion to re approve the audit. Okay. Or you could just approve the audit first and then approve the. Okay. Or what she said. Before I present the. Uh, what would you like, Amanda? Before I present the. Uh, we'll, we'll do the audit. So we have a first for the Troy made so a I'd motion. I'd make a motion to approve the audit. Okay. And we need second. a second. And we get a second. Roll All right. Roll. Yes. Please. Mike. Yes. Troy. Yes. Nancy. Yes. Rick. Yeah. All right. And then if Troy wants to bring forward the And I would bring forward the committee okay. report. For All the right. Blake. Second call, yes. We don't have a second. Okay. We don't have a second. Yes. Mike. Yes. Troy. Yes. Nancy. Yes. Rick. Yeah. All right. Well, that was smooth. That was real well, smooth. Apparently, on the <laughs> agenda for next month, we'll put in <laughs> review of Robert's <laughs> rules of order. <laughs> All right. Um, well, we didn't have any additional items. I will ask one last time, make sure there's no additional items. If not, we are adjourned.